one of the most instantly recognizable theme tunes ever is of course the Bond theme. Now I've been thinking about Bond for a while, particularly about the new Bond. Who's it gonna be? So what do we know? Juicer Michael Wilson said that the next Bond actor will be roughly Craig's age when he joined and definitely not over 40. So no Bond Junior said he had to be British, but could be any ethnicity and not a woman. So that's great. At least Bond won't be made a fool of and put down by a woman anytime soon, as seems to be the message in a lot of modern films, like Indiana Jones, for instance, and Luke Skywalker in Star Wars. So what can we tell about who the next Bond might be from that then? So instantly that tells us no Lashana Lynch, although she gave up a 007 to Bond, I think, in the end of the last film. Although we could get a spin-off, that would be quite good. And no Idris Elba, who's kind of all but uh, said he doesn't really want it anyway. So who is in the running? These are the people I think are in the running. The first one is Aaron Taylor Johnson, who's 33 years old. And you might know him as Wanda's brother in Age of Ultron. He was in Kick-Ass. He was in Tenet. Now he's already screen tested and already screen tested well. He would be probably my front runner. Next up is, is Henry Cavill, who at 40 might be too old. Plus he's been asking too much for this, uh, really. Um, and he's too A-list. And can Superman also be Bond? Although he's certainly shown us in lots of films that he can look the part. Although I think he's a bit too sort of beefy, if you know what I mean. Next up is, uh, and I'm gonna get this name wrong, Ray Jean Page, who's 34, 35, might have seen him in Bridgeton. I think he's just a little bit too pretty, to be honest, to be Bond. He doesn't look like somebody ex-military. He's probably been special forces and all the rest of it. My choice is, drum roll, 30-year-old Will Poulter, which seems a bit out there, but he recently did an Agatha Christie series on TV. Ask about Evans. Go look it up. I think in the same way Layer Cake was Craig's unofficial audition for Bond, that was his. And if you go look at him, you'd be surprised how good a fit he could be. There you go, so one of those maybe, or maybe none of them, who knows. So a few rumors, one of the rumors going around is that they're going to reset this Bond into the 60s and make it a period piece, make it truer to Fleming's original Bond, which I think would be brilliant. And I'd love to see a one-off movie of that with a different Bond, but not for the Bond series going forward because it would just become this awful period piece, I think. Um, and what a commitment. And what if it didn't work? Then they'd have to get a new Bond in a new time or reboot it all over again. And there are two words that mean this will never, never happen. And those two words are product placement. No way could a 50s or 60s Bond be driving the latest Aston Martin, the latest Sony Ericsson phone, or the latest... Stop saying these brand names really, shouldn't they? Or using the latest laptop or whatever. So what do I think the reboot of Bond should be like? By the way, I absolutely loved the fact that Bond died in the last one. He had a total story arc. It was self-contained in those films. It was fantastic, well done. That was just amazing. So what do I think about the Bond should be. Well, Bond used to lead. Bond was, you know, the first of those action spy thrillers. Uh, and it's been different things at different times. And then it started sort of following, I thought, Bourne a bit too much. And I hope it doesn't come back and follow like Mission Impossible or something like that. Th my advice would be do something, do something totally unexpected with it. Something we don't think is gonna happen, you know. Make it metal. <laughs> Until next time, be seeing you.